and you have lots of different little brands that you've created and it doesn't seem like you're stopping either um which i think is one of the interesting things you don't you're yes you you do repeat some brands but you also create new ones um which i think is fascinating so how how do you look at what new things you're creating, number one? And number two, what translates uh, overseas? And how do you look at, at, at extending your brand and, and your branding overseas in Korea or Dubai or all of those places? Those are very different than the U.S., obviously. Of course. Well, listen, uh, thank you. Great question. You know, if I look at the hotel brand, you know, I'm very lucky that we have brands that are iconic brands, right? If you think about the Delano, the Mondrian, just to mention to the Hyde. <clears throat> These are brands that were created, you know, over 20 years ago with, you know, what we call our godfather and kind of the person that started what was the boutique design in the world of uh, hospitality that was Ian Schrager, right? So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very proud to have taken something that was created Again, 20 years ago, Dallin was his years, 25 years that was, yep. Yep. you know, open. And his brand are recognized globally, right? So when you take a modern brand design, the first one by Philip Stark in LA, and you take it out to Korea, um, you know, our job is in one way, and I'm, I don't want to sound crazy, easy, because we have Mondrian follower. You know, I call my guest a tribe that follows the brand, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. for us, it's more about the marketing to amplify the voice and tell the world that now we are spending in different countries, right? We're just Mondrian. We're going to open in Bordeaux. We're going to open a Mondrian hotel in Cannes. We're going to open a Mondrian hotel in Mexico City. Just to mention, we're going to open 14 new Mondrian in the next... Uh, two years and it's incredible why reason is that the owners of the building recognize the brand the owners of the building want to be affiliated with us because as i was saying before it's not just about putting people in beds you know we are putting the we are creating destination we're creating memory we're creating experiences where as you said the combination of taking the hotel brand plus the restaurant brand the mixology the spa the residential building and uh, obviously restaurant, you're creating a destination where you have 50, 60% of the business that are the local, that are going to the hotel because they want to have that experience. And then for our customer, knowing that there is now a modern soul, they say, great, we have a point of reference now of a brand that was in London, in LA, in New York, in, in uh, Miami or in LA, as I said, and now moving in. We have very strict brand standard that we have put together and you know I and the team were very very key in uh, kind of looking at every single details from you know the music to the menu to the mini bar experience to the uniform we don't let anything kind of happen by chance and I think that the idea is that we want our customers they entering through the SLS hotel or the Mondrian hotel whatever location mm -hmm. that they feel the DNA of that brand so we're very critical to your uh, question about us always creating new brand, listen, the world is changing very rapidly, right? You know, what I've learned from Sam is that, you know, today's success, you cannot just sit there and just enjoy it. You know, we have to constantly rethink. We are also very lucky that we have an audience that goes from 21 to 75, right? So we have in our club, you know, young generation, we, you sit at the Dallin Hotel and you have, you know, couple in their 70s celebrating their 40 years anniversary, right? And so we have such an incredible audience, and so we need constantly to think of how to change our menus for the different audience that we're serving. You know, again, I think that this time and the past four months for us are being interesting because also gave us the opportunity to rethink the business, as I said. So we start all, all this delivering only business, we are looking at the next experience of our hotel. And so I think that, you know, it's, it's, it's a time that we're preparing us to go back even stronger. We just redesigned completely our website, uh, but, you know, it's been launched on a soft launch. We'll do a big campaign as soon as more likely October, November, when all our hotels are open. And we are one of the few uh, hospitality companies that redesign hotel that is a full platform that you can now book your hotel room, book the restaurant, book the nightclub, book the beach club, book the, your, um, your uh, um, let's say, spa treatment 
all in one time. So you can completely now book your experience without then going down and call the concierge where you can do it all online.